Relax, my viewers. Welcome to Super T Reader Tour. I want to sage advice once again. I am your host, Super T Reader. That's right. And I have another quick little message I want to send for my people. That's right, my viewers. What do we have coming this Friday, October 16th? I believe we have a new moon in Libra. And for a lot of you, that's going to expose a lot of things. It's going to cause a situation to balance out that maybe you don't want balanced out. Maybe you've been fighting it. Maybe your heart wants one thing and your spirit and soul know better and wants another for you. Isn't that right, my viewers? So this new cycle that's coming for a lot of you is going to straighten up some things. It's either going to bring a new cycle with new love or it's going to end the cycle with your current love so that you can get to new love. The full moon in Taurus is after that. It says you've got to be real. You've got to be practical. Right? You can't keep doing the same thing. Because that new moon in Libra is going to expose things. We know things are going to get exposed because we're going to end with the final answers that you need from a full moon in Gemini. Just a couple weeks out. So if you're scared to let someone go with this new moon in Libra, you're going to have to work through those fears. Says the new moon in Scorpio that comes right before the full moon in Gemini, and after the full moon in Taurus. You got to be practical. You got to be real with yourself and whoever you're dealing with because this new moon in Libra says, I'm going to expose your feelings. When you go outside to get in your car, when you go outside to take a walk, when you go outside to get the mail or to walk the dog, the energy of the moon is going to hit your skin. She says, I think that little bit of exposure, I think that's enough to penetrate you. And I think it's enough to expose what you're really feeling. I think it's enough to expose what you really want, what you really desire, but you're not saying it. Don't worry about it, says the new moon in Libra. I'm going to shake up your feelings. What you're really feeling is going to come out. If you're with a partner and you really don't want to be with them, I'm going to shake that up in you. I'm going to shake it up in them too. Guess what? You're going to have to face your fear because that relationship's going to end. And you're going to get the answer that you need. Eventually in the next few weeks, many of you wonder, should I break up with this person? Should I take that ex back? Should I take a step forward with this new relationship? Oh, the new moon in Libra? It's going to bring you those answers. It's going to start the cycle. It's going to start the cycle. The process of you learning what you need to learn and knowing what you need to know. That cycle is starting. Oh, in a couple weeks, you will be getting your answer. So for many of you out there, the new moon in Libra is going to shake you up and wake you up. It's going to end the relationship you don't need to be in. And it's going to bring new love and push you towards the relationship you do need to be in. It's coming, my viewers. The moon is going to expose your feelings. So if you're a Libra, be ready. If you're a Taurus, get real. If you're a Scorpio, don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Be prepared. <laughs> and if you're a Gemini, you're going to get the answer you're seeking. Oh, it's all coming, my viewers, with this new moon in Libra. I'm your host, Super T Reader. I'll see you again.